Hola, hola. Muy buenas noches. Hi, Kevin, if you're one, can you hear me? Buenas noches, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. So, um, okay, guys, uh, welcome again to uh, this course to pre-advanced level. Um, I, I just want to start just verifying. Um, well, have you worked in, in the platform of, of English Cooperativo? Have you been working the exercises, watching the videos? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, if you had been working on, on the platform, so raise your hand and that way I will check. Uh, just uh, I need to know that and, and take notes about it. Okay. I'll say Isaias. Who else? Raise your hand. Angelica Lasso. Okay. Very good. What about the rest? Los demás? Sí, si han trabajado en la plataforma, por favor, levanten este, la mano. La Solamente... semana, lo de la semana pasada, digamos que cumplí, ahora es hoy. No. Sí, así es. Solamente. Eh, yes. Muy bien, de acuerdo, excelente. Uh -huh. Solo estoy tomando nota de ello, muchas gracias. Uh -huh. Bye. Excelente. Uh -huh. Hay sí. algunas preguntas que sí no las he contestado porque no las entiendo. Ya eso íbamos, de hecho. ¿Alguno de ustedes ha encontrado pues alguna este, situación en los ejercicios que ustedes han estado trabajando eh, en la que no puedan completar este, o la respuesta pues, aparentemente está incorrecta? No, bueno, eh... este, Solamente el caso, el caso que está mencionando ahí, los, este, de ahí los demás. Todo bien. Todo bien. 
Todo bien, va, excelente. Veamos, eh, este, su nombre, eh, la persona que estaba indicando que había en un ejercicio es que no había podido contestar. Vanessa. Vanessa, ok, Vanessa. ¿En qué sección se encuentran esos ejercicios? En la primera es la 1. No acuerdo cuál es, permítame. De acuerdo. Mm. En la 1.4, de acuerdo, dos oraciones. Ah, de la última oración. Sí. Las últimas dos oraciones, dice. Uh -huh. Ok, veamos. Eh, ¿Pueden visualizar mi pantalla? Eh, sí, sí. Solo usted, teacher, ahorita. Aún no. Vale. Ahorita sí. Ahora sí. Yes, vale, estamos, estamos hablando yes, este, entonces del ejercicio 1.4. El knowledge check, tenemos las instructions, it says select the best clause that matches the statement. Uh, me indica que es la número 6, but I'd rather have a boss. Eh, and I prefer to have teachers. Ya probó con todas las opciones usted. Es de las últimas. Estas ya las tengo. Esas ya las tiene. Ah, veamos. Es que más abajo hay dos horas. Ah, estas de aquí. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, instructions to write the following statements using who or that to me one sentence. Uh, in the examples, I don't want to have a partner, I have nothing in common with this person. I don't want to have a partner who I have nothing in common with. Okay, muy bien. Eh, vea, revisemos la, las oraciones. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que ha escrito hasta el momento? Oh, Vamos a revisar su respuesta. Si gusta, compártelas directamente al chat. No, a de Zoom. No, no creo que la pueda. No, vaya. Bueno. Entonces... No, bueno, Vamos, veamos. Ah, no fue usted que no me va. Ya la hacen bien. Uh -huh. Bien, no se puede visualizar. Pa revisemos entonces. Eh, vamos a ver la res, las posibles respuestas. En la número uno, eh, vamos a tomar como referencia la número uno. ¿Tiene algo similar a esto? I have... Eh, no, I like. solo sin el I like. Sin esta parte. Ah, vaya, entonces ahí está el error. Oh. Sí, porque tiene que ser la oración completa, incluyendo este, eh, la primera cláusula, que sería esta. Vamos a incluir esta más el resto de la oración. Creo que ahí está el, la, la, el problema. ¿De acuerdo? Okay. Inténtelo de esa forma. Si no, pues me, me escribe directamente este al, al chat. Uh -huh. Bien, ok, eh, guys. Um, I, I remember that last class it was on Thursday. Thursday. Um, so we're discussing... I know, I, I left a uh, hunger, right? It was about to write a tale. Is that correct? Yes. yes, it is. Yes, yes. It, it was. Okay, very good. So, um, today we are going to uh, listen all those tales that you have create. And, uh, well, let's see. Vamos, vamos a, a, a escuchar eh, esos cuentos que ustedes crearon. Veo que algunos de ustedes ya lo han compartido en el grupo de WhatsApp. 
Veo por ahí uno llamado The Lion Boy, eh, otro que se llama The Partnership y el otro The Dreamy Fish. Muy bien, tengo por aquí un par de, de otros cuentos más. Eh, está My Little Cat, Miss You, Vanessa's Challenge. ¿Qué más? Um, hay alguien que compartió un, un documento que llevo por título Memories. Muy bien. Vamos a escucharlos. Este, eh, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es, eh, el, quien haya creado pues, cada uno de estos cuentos, este, nos va a narrar eh, sobre qué trata esa, esa historia, sobre qué trata ese cuento. ¿De acuerdo? Comenzamos con um, Lisette Castillo. Fue la prim primera persona que nos compartió el cuento. ¿Es leerlo o solo resumirlo? Resumirlo, resumirlo. Okay. Porque hay unos cuentos que están bastante extensos, lo cual está muy bien. Este, y así que, um, aunque tomáramos pues, los 60 minutos para escuchar todos los cuentos, no, nos, no tendríamos tiempo suficiente. Así que vamos a resumirlo. Eh, nos van a contar sobre qué trata su cuento. ¿De acuerdo? Sí, dame un tantito de tiempo. Para resumirlo. ¿Hola? Deme un poquito de tiempo para ver de qué forma... Por supuesto, resumen. por supuesto. No, no se preocupe. No se preocupe. Oh, alguien acaba de compartir otro. Jesús. Eh, ah, no, no sé si, si ese es su nombre. Um, hay alguien que tiene por título Jesús es mi pastor, compartió el cuento de Danita en el rabbit. Mi teacher. ¿Nombre? Ángela Santa María. Ángela, ah, ok, sí. muy bien. Ahorita voy a agregar su número aquí porque okay. lo tenía registrado, de acuerdo, Ángela. Ya lo tenía, pero no lo había compartido. De acuerdo. Muy bien. ¿Alguno de ustedes, de momento, mientras se prepara su compañera, este, alguno de ustedes, eh, de forma voluntaria, quiere contarnos este, sobre su cuento? ¿Sobre qué trata su cuento? ¿Alguien que ya lo tenga listo? Mi teacher. Ok, very good. Excelente. So, your name? What's your name? Uh, my name. Yes, your name. Angela. Ángela, ah, ok, Ángela, go ahead. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. um, uh, I read. Uh -huh. eh, Danita en her rabbit. Uh -huh. Once after a time there was a girl, Dan, Danita, Dana. <clears throat> Danita's her mother called her. She wants a hamster, but her mother did not want to buy it for her because they already uh, had three and they had escaped because they were so small that they came out of the cave. The mother had a good idea and asked Danita, do you want a rabbit interesting of hamster. Danita very enthusiastically accepted. So the ball had a beautiful bunny. We wish they are very happy. The bunny is very playful and very funny, and they live very happy. Sign she spent time with the bunny while mom go to the world. And the the end. The end. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, good, excellent. Uh, okay, you, you did an amazing job there. Uh, let's see. 
You ready? Okay, Lisa, yes. go ahead. My history is about a boy who conquered his guy, began to lie to his father, saying and told his father that the tiger ate him, and it was always a hawk. In the end, the hawk becomes a reality and has a moral in the mouth of a leader. What is true becomes the fool. Become what? What do you say? Become? Become doubtful. Okay, very good. Doubtful. Okay. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, and it has, I, I'm just, just taking a look of, of the tail here in my, my phone. And I was just reading uh, some, some parts of your, of your tails and, and well, all the information, uh, well, all the history here in this tail has been good. So, and it has uh, like, like something to learn from this, okay? Very good. Basically, when you say lies, nobody's going to trust in you. Okay, very good, excellent. Um, so the next one, uh, let's see. The situation here is that I can't see your names. Uh, I guess it's Diana, Diana Vasquez. Are you here? Diana? Can you hear me? Let me see, Diana, Diana, I guess she's in here, right? Uh, no, let's see then, uh, Kevin Garcia. Kevin? He's not here. Kevin. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I was reading the, the message that he left. Okay, um, so then let's listen to Lorena Peña. Okay. Lorena, are you there? Yes, yes uh, I'm here. Okay, very good. I'm just checking here that your tail is my little cat. That's the name yeah. of your tail. Okay, very good. Tell yes. us, what is this say about? Okay, and my story is about a, a, a young that he wanted to have a pet. Mm -hmm. He always was thinking about it and he always talked to her, to his mom to to buy some, some pet from him. Mm -hmm. But uh, a friend of his of her mom uh, gave him a, a dog. It was a, a beautiful dog, but he he couldn't be in love with her. He couldn't take care of her because the, the dog was eight years old and then uh, he couldn't take care like uh, as a baby, no? Mm -hmm. Then the, the dog uh, had, some was got sick and she died and then he again asked her mom please i wanna i wanna i wanna pet please i want my pet but he wanted really mm -hmm. he wanted a, a cat and then mm -hmm. he, his her mom his mom uh, let him to have a cat a baby cat and he could take care of his cat he could um uh, uh, take uh, slow, slow, slow it, and uh, sleep with him, and take care of him, and play with him, and just it was the, the wonderful thing that he could have in his life that had to his pet. And really, really, he was uh, awesome. He was uh, happy for that. And that's all. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good. Okay. okay, excellent. Very good. You did an amazing job. 
Um, now let's listen to um, Selena Vanegas or Venegas, Vanegas, I guess, right? Selena, are you here? Selena, I guess she's not here, right? Um, now let's listen then to Jency. Jency, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> okay, very good. So tell us, what is this day of all? I'm just checking here. In the name of your tail is Vanessa's challenge. That's your tail, right? Okay, we want to listen. What yes. is this thing about? Yes. Go ahead. Ma <laughs> okay, teacher. My story is about um, a girl named Vanessa who used to play drum group almost every day in the yard of her house. And Vanessa had two sisters, Wendy and Camilla. And Vanessa was friendly girl, friendly, intelligent girl. But, but she had a problem. Um, she she does um draw draw um it's frustrate for her um then your mom told told her. Vanessa, it's not difficult. You just have to try a little harder to archive it. Um, then little Vanessa understand that her mother was right. And in terms wise, words that she had to her. One day, Vanessa did her homework without anyone. Her which concern or drawing a landscape or nature. She tried again and again until she succeeded coming the best cartoons or of her class, obtaining the best grade. Finish, teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. Good job, perfect. Uh, and now I'm just checking in here. So once in uh, a tail, that is, that is called the dog. I mean, that is named the dog and the wolf. The dog and the wolf. I don't know who is the author of this tale. The dog and the wolf is, is my history. Okay, very good. So go ahead, sir. Tell us what is this tale about or your is a story about? Okay, um, the my history is about uh, well, someday uh, a gaunt wolf was almost dead with uh, hunger when he happened to meet a house dog who was passing by. And mm -hmm. the dog said, hey, dude, uh, I knew how it will be. Your irregular life will soon be the ring for you. Why do you not work steadily as I do <laughs> and get your food regularly given to you? And the wolf said, I will have no objection uh, if I could only get a place. I will easily arrange that for you, said the dog. 
come with me to my master and you shall share my work. So the wolf and the dog went towards the town together. On the way there, the wolf noticed that the higher or certain parts of the dog, dog's neck was very much warm away. So he asked him how that had come about. The dog said, Okay, that, that's the end of the uh, of the date, right? Excuse me? That's the end. No, no, no. No, okay. Uh, no, no. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, That's only the place where the color is put uh, the knife to keep me chaining up. It shades a bed, but uh, one song gets used to it. Is that all? Say the wolf, then goodbye. To you, Master Dog, better stay free than be a fast, <laughs> a fast slave. Okay, 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 very good. Good, good. The imagination, very good, excellent. Okay, good Thank job. You. Okay, uh, guys, well, uh, I don't know if there is someone else who wants to share with us a uh, story. Someone else? Nobody else? No. Okay, you, uh, guys, the, the ones that uh, create these tales and stories, let me, okay, the, the, you did an amazing job, okay? Congratulations to all of you. Okay, guys, um, now it's time to move on to uh, the next section. We're going to move on to the section number two. Uh, here we have the name of the unit that it says career moves. Uh, we're going to be talking about jobs and occupations. Um, um, I have also um, an activity for you. You're going to, well, you're going to develop a war search, but I will share it to you later. Um, we need first to uh, pay attention to the lesson of yet, the ones that we have here. Um, it says, by the end of this class, you will learn about the best jobs based on personality types, okay? Um, we have a video. I'm going to play the video, and we are going to listen to these um, presentations and also conversations. Uh, you're going to see like some slide for H1, and uh, well, you're going to see also what is like the best job according to the personality type that we have. Uh, we have an instruction here, and it says, so "Watch this video below." Um, and take note of the different personality types, as well as the best job, best suite for each personality. After watching the video below, write in the discussion forum what personality type you are and what type of job uh, you do, okay? So this is the instructions about what we are going to do right now. Then after we share all this information here, we are going to be sharing uh, some comments about it um, here in the lobby, okay? So uh, we're going to watch the video first and then you are going to identify the personality types as well as the best jobs, okay? After that, you're going to write in the discussion forum, the personality you are in, what type of job, uh, job I mean, you do. Okay, so ready for it? Yes, no, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, just let me check here. Um, there is no, no one, um, I guess just one person has, uh, let, oh no, there is no um, sharing here yet, okay? So we are going to share something here after we watch this video. Take notes if you if you want, okay? Take notes. And pay attention to this part. And just let me share the audio too here and here. Welcome to Matheson College. I'm Jamie Fish. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. 
the good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? Uh, there are six basic personality types. Hmm. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. Hmm. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So, often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. They usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? Hmm. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people. So they make good managers. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science. But librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. The last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Auden? Thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. Okay, guys. Uh, well, there you have this video. Also, you have it here in the platform. You can check it out if you want. Um, what we are going to do, as you see here, um, you're going to write in the discussion forum what personality type you are and what type of you, uh, job, I mean, do you do, okay? So that's what we are, you are going to do. But also, we're going to add something else. Um, you're going to share here in the WhatsApp group um, a description of each personality, okay? So um, uh, as you can see here, for instance, we have artistic, uh, we have also, uh, just let me check here, a conventional, a social, a investigative, enterprising. Uh, so, there are many personalities about jobs that we can mention here. 
and, and all of them you're going to have at the end in this video. What you're going to do, and this is going to be um, uh, something that, that, that you're going to, to be working with a, a partner here, um, is um, identify each of the personalities and write a description um, about what this personality is. Okay? That's what you are going to do. Then after you finish this activity, you are going to send that information through the WhatsApp group, okay? So um, you want me to explain this part in Spanish? Yes? So much better? Yes, okay. Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es, um, ya vimos este, que existen pues diferentes personalidades eh, referentes a este, los diferentes tipos de, de trabajos o ocupaciones este, que se presentan. Eh, lo que vamos a hacer nosotros, aparte de escribir en el foro, eh, porque en el foro va a ser de forma individual, ¿ok? En el foro nosotros vamos a escribir qué tipo de personalidad nos representa y cuál es el tipo de trabajo que ustedes realizan. Eso lo van a escribir en el foro. Ahora, en el grupo de WhatsApp, ustedes me van a identificar cada una de las eh, personalidades que existen y me van a describir eh, sobre qué trata y qué ocupaciones nosotros podemos incluir dentro de ellas. Por ejemplo, eh, por ahí hablaba, este, por ahí se mencionaban algún eh, tipo de, de, de orientaciones sobre este, los tipos de trabajo que se pueden desarrollar. Bueno, es, ustedes lo que van a hacer simplemente es este, eh, buscar esa información y hacer una pequeña descripción de lo que ya en el audio nosotros estamos escuchando. ¿Sí? Sería eh, como, digamos, eh, eh, un breve resumen de lo que ella ya nos está mostrando sobre las personalidades basadas en este, eh, eh, los diferentes tipos de eh, ocupaciones o trabajos. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí quedamos claros de lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Vamos a trabajar primero esta actividad de forma individual y luego en parejas vamos a trabajar la segunda parte, que es la que me van a compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Preguntas? Mm, ahorita, o sea, en la plataforma hay que escribir y luego en el WhatsApp. Sí, vaya. Bueno, en la plataforma este, de inglés corporativo van a escribir uh -huh. qué tipo, con qué entiendo. tipo de personalidad me este, identifico. Se identifica. Okay. Y el tipo de trabajo que usted realiza. Ok. Muy bien. Eso lo van a escribir en el foro. O aquí hay una... Ah, hay una ah, ah, este, ah. Añade una publicación. Esto es de forma individual. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. La segunda parte es identificar todos los tipos de personalidades que existen, que de hecho ustedes pueden este, volver a ver. Si tomaron apuntes, pues perfecto, ya los tienen ahí. Si no, pues pueden volver a ver el video en pareja, porque los voy a enviar a, lo, a unos breakout rooms, y van a identificar todas las personalidades y van a hacer una pequeña descripción de lo que trata ese tipo de personalidad. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. ¿Sí queda claro ahora este, los demás? ¿Estamos bien? Eh, ¿Hay preguntas? No, teacher. Vanessa dice que no. Claro, teacher. Todo claro. Todo claro. Edgardo, muy bien, excelente. Eh, bien, entonces, este, eh, los voy a enviar ahorita los breakout rooms. Trabajen la actividad de forma individual, o sea, la actividad este, del foro, de, de la plataforma de, de inglés corporativo, y luego trabajan este, el ejercicio eh, de las personalidades en pareja. ¿De acuerdo? No, Veamos. No, 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 no. Sí. Ahorita voy a crear, este, déjeme ver... Y creo que un equipo va a quedar de tres, así que este, ahí eh, se incluye, bueno, trabajan los tres en, en, en la segunda parte de la actividad, ¿de acuerdo? Van a tener este, eh, 15 minutos, 5 minutos para trabajar el foro y los otros 10 los dedican para este, construir eh, la descripción de cada una de las personalidades. Eh, el video, por si quieren revisarlo, se encuentra en el 2.1. ¿De acuerdo? Sección 2, video 2.1. Ok, maestro, gracias. 
Muy bien. Creo que hay un plugin y dónde estoy yo. Ah, pues Creo sí. que estoy en la sección 2 también, pero, pero no, me la, no he llegado ahí todavía. Es la 2. Ah, ya la vi. Ya la vi, sí, ya la vi. Ya vi. Sí. Ajá. Pero no me la despliega, fíjense, no sé lo que no me la despliega. Sí, esa es. Yo solo noté las personalidades, las que es Artist, Conventional, Mr. Springs, Festival. Seis son, ¿verdad? Seis personalidades. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces ahí, ahí le va a poner usted cuál es su personalidad. Mande ahorita, voy a ver si lo puedo compartir. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y que ahí cada quien, cada quien tenemos que llenarla, ¿verdad? Porque como Ajá. Para... Ajá. No, no, no puedo compartir. No, no se preocupe, llénela usted y no voy me a da permiso, aquí. dice que no me, no, no me da. Ajá, ajá. No me permite.
and gratitude. Uh, good evening, uh, Edgardo and Jose. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. You're fine. Okay, very good. Um, how are you doing with with the homework? Uh, right now we are uh, describing every uh, personality. Ah, uh, okay. I am, I am writing, and but we are, uh, we are describing every personality between, uh, between Jose and, and me. Okay, very good, excellent, oh, excellent. Okay, keep working. I'm going to move. I'm going to see some other uh, rooms. Okay. Okay. Thank see you in a moment. Me. Okay, we can we can we can write. Artistic is a per, is a person who has a great imagination, and is very creative. And focus on single project. But I think that he uh, the the. Hello, I'm um, just yes, here, Alvin and Vanessa. How are you? Where are you? Very, 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 very nice. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. So how are you doing with your homework, Alvin and Vanessa? Yeah, I uh, I first uh, identify my case, what is the, the mm -hmm. uh, personality uh, that, that's similar, the same with me. Um, mm -hmm. I, I told, to Vanessa, uh, mm -hmm. in my case, the the personality personality uh, is um, realistic career mm -hmm. because uh, actually in my area I am an engineer. No. I like that. I I like the different topic. When you I remember when you when I when was studying. Oh, uh, the the different topic is, is very interesting, and uh, I I love it, the engineer for that. This is in my in my case. Okay, very good, excellent, good. Okay, keep working. I'm going to move now. I'm going to check some other uh, uh well new partners in the other rooms, and I will see you in a moment. Okay, see you. Okay. 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 Thanks. <laughs> Um, let's see. Hi, Marcela. Hi. You understand the activity? Okay, very good. So I'm um, sitting here to um, Angelica and Karen. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay, how are you I doing? have problems we with my internet. I'm sorry. Okay, I understand. But you have been working on the exercises that I, um, that I mentioned. Do you already passed in, in the photo? Teacher, I, I I don't understand because in the platform, it, I, I don't see a part about photo. Oh, okay. Uh, just let me show this. Uh, give me one moment here. Let me share my screen. Okay. Um, you're gonna you have to go to the section number two. Um, we're going to yes. start from the beginning. Okay. Uh, you have to click on the section number two. Then uh, you have to move to uh. Just wait a little bit. Okay, you have to move to a uh, section uh, 2.1. Okay, uh, there we have the video. So, yes, yes. At the end, you're gonna see a, a button that it says Añade una publicación. So, you are going to click on it and then ah, okay. you're going to start writing. Ah, okay, this Remember? is the forum. Yes, this is the forum. Ah, okay. Okay, now remember to add a, a title of it because you are going to need it in order to pass it. You can write your name or the, the topic, so uh, you decide. And here okay. you're going to write 
all the information that is needed. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to move to the other uh, room because I had to see uh, some other guys. Okay. Uh, I will see you in, I guess, about one minute in the lobby. What? Sorry? I'm going to see you there in the, in the lobby in about one minute. So we're going to move there. Okay. Okay, guys, um, well, you know, we have just, I guess, just two minutes, you know, to explain this. Um, okay, um, I hope you are working with your classmate, adding all the information according to, to the personalities uh, there. And, uh, well, I will explain this in Spanish. Este, he visto, bueno, pasado por algunos de, la, de las salas y saben pues, que algunos estaban trabajando este, en eh, las actividades del foro. Eh, y pues la, las personalidades, las descripciones de las personalidades, las per personalidades, perdón. Eh, para la clase de mañana, este, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Eh, con la información que ustedes tienen y, y lo que van a compartir probablemente este, en, en el grupo de WhatsApp, yo el día de mañana les voy a estar preguntando a cada uno de ustedes sobre qué trata cada una de las personalidades. Lo, lo vamos a hacer de forma random. Así que este, les voy a pedir que estudiemos sobre qué, eh, cuáles son este, las áreas de las personalidades y sobre qué trata esa este, personalidad cuando nosotros nos referimos este, a las diferentes ocupaciones o trabajos que existen. ¿De acuerdo? Eh, simplemente eso. Va a ser de forma random. Esto es para que este, se nos vaya quedando un poquito parte del vocabulario que vamos aprendiendo en la plataforma de eh, inglés corporativo. No sé si alguno de ustedes tiene hasta este momento alguna pregunta. No, teacher. No. Ok, muy bien. Ángela, excelente. Eh, ¿Los demás? No, okay. Estamos bien. Lorena? Okay. ok, very good. Anyone else? ¿Los demás? Eh, si todo está bien, pues demos un thumbs up. Ahí tienen el botón de reacciones. Thumbs up. Ok, José Carlos, muy bien. Marcela, excelente. Isaías, muy bien. Vanessa, por ahí está también, excelente. Muy bien, Edgardo también, ya, ya estoy viendo bueno, que la mayoría está compartiendo. Jensi, Lorena, excelente. Bueno, este, eh, esto sería todo por ahora, lastimosamente, pues los 60 minutos que teníamos ya se nos terminaron. Estudiamos esas personalidades, porque yo voy a estar preguntando, como les digo, de forma random el día de mañana, sobre qué trata cada una de ellas. Así que esa va a ser como su tarea, digamos, para el día de mañana. Este, y, eh, bueno, desearles una feliz y bendecida noche. Cuídense y adiós. Bye. 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 Buenas noches. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Okay, bye. Good evening to everyone.